Hi, how, how are you today? This is uh, the second video that I like to call uh, Finance Friday, hashtag Finance Friday. And I hope the weather is a little bit better where you are than it is here in Dublin today. Um, last week I spoke about how important it is to have good records and use those records to look at your business and understand what's going on. Um, I'm going to delve a little bit deeper this week and talk about how to run off um, aged creditors and aged debtors. And that's basically your customers listing the people, amount of people who owe you money. Run that report off if you have an accounting system or look at your sales page if you're doing it on Excel and do the same for your accounts payable or your creditors or the people you owe money to. And what I want you to look at is to see when we're looking at our customer side to see are you happy that all of these people still owe you money that you have you haven't ticked something off in your head as paid that isn't paid and that everything is is in your own system is working well. Then look at who is outstanding, who still owes you money and how to get that money um, brought forward um, into your bank account. The one thing I want everyone to avoid is to keep um, to not keep lists in their head, to keep everything in a system. So on a Friday morning or a Sunday morning or whenever you want to do it, you go and you take out that list uh, of things and you systematically go through and call them, email them, set up um, a conference call, whatever it needs to be. And then you know after that half an hour you have dealt with the problem of cash flow, you have dealt with the problem of someone who's not paying you and you can then move your head on into your own business and work on that. Likewise, using your accounts payable look at who you owe money to is that is what's the list of people um have did you know that that's how much you owed is everything that you think you owe is it on there um and avoid again keeping these lists in your head we want to avoid things being stored in our heads because that only gives us headaches and we want to avoid that but also when we take things out, out of our heads and we file them away somewhere, it leaves room for us to go to the next layer of creativity, the next layer of admin, whatever it is that you need to do. It moves things away and you can see to the next layer of things that are that need to get done. Um, so I hope that helps. Of course, contact me at any time if you would like more clarity or if you would like to have a call and discuss what's going on in your business um, at the moment that I'd only be delighted to hear. And I would love to hear your comments in the, um, your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your comments in the comments. Um, and have a great weekend and chat to you soon. Bye for now.